Hello, everybody. <laughs> Sorry for the delay. We had an emergency, and it's uh, it's important that we drop everything for that. We had, you saw the you saw what was going on, so we would do that for any of you if you contact us. Just so you know. Um, my name is Riz Deb. This is my husband, Rick, for anyone that's new here. And we are from HealTeachLove.org. Um, I'm not going to go into all the explanations because it's way too long, but we are healers. My husband merged with uh, Creator's Energy six or seven years ago. And I got I discovered that I get the downloaded information. I can see inside your body. My, Rick scans you. I see inside the body um, who's getting healed. And I get the downloaded information. And the messages on what's going on with you. Uh, and that is what happened to us um, in the very late stages of our lives. So we're new to this seven years ago. Um, and uh, we have been working with Bill for Philip Barrow for seven years. And this is our colleague, Bill from seven. He'll Teach Love. I'm sorry, three years, four years. <laughs> I'm <That's all> right. <laughs> as normal, I screwed this up. <laughs> that was very quick. Is it my turn? Philip Barrow, who's also part of HealTeachLove.org. Mm, okay. Thank you, Doug. And Rick. Uh, I've been healing since 1970. That just shows you how old I am. Uh, I'm not going to go through all the things because I do that on most of them. But I use a lot of tools when I'm healing. I've got this, which is Shungalai Pyramid. That's to protect the IT. I also use loads. You probably saw me using them. And this is when I'm doing uh, shamanic work. Uh, that's a protection. That's definitely a protection. That's like a warrior. And that's Shungalite. So I all use these. I also use a crystal ball, which gets rid of dark energies. And it's like light and dark. It's got two energies. So I, I always use two when I'm doing these, just in case. Uh, so also, what I was going to say, this week's been amazing because I've got, I've got uh, connected to a Lemurian... Uh, Ealing, Ela, a Lemurian Ela from the temple, one of the aspects, female, first female, which was great. And I've also found out I might be doing Ealing courses at an Ealing centre now. I might start be doing them in a few months. So, so your journey changes weekly, my journey changes weekly, so it's amazing. So uh, I just wanted to say that anyway. After you, oh, and by the way, I, I have started creating light beds. You probably see it on my Facebook, and uh, I might do a little bit of that today. I don't know. After you, Deb. So, so okay. let us begin. I am going to try and go through the list. Phil, you may have to help me because. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I came in at 10, so I was a bit late. <laughs> <laughs> um, Vera Quintana is first. Yay. Hi, guys. Hi. So I was wanting to see if you guys can scan me. I've been having a lot of issues with my stomach. Um, I never had acid reflux or, or like bloating or gassy ever. And now I'm like everything I eat, it feels like it falls to the top of my stomach like a brick. It just sits there. Um, my hips and joints are hurting. Um, what else? Well, that's right now. That's what I can think of. Oh, yeah. I guess that's it right now when you guys scan me if you see something else let me know and you want healing as well yeah healing of course yes yeah. thank you okay tell, tell us if you feel energy change are you eating really spicy food um do you re eat really hot spicy food not really i don't I, no, I'm, I'm a wimp i don't really like don't really like hot stuff i mean we do have chili here but i usually eat the one that's not hot okay her stomach is, is inflamed. It's almost like there's, um, it's red. Sometimes you get nauseous. Yeah, it's been going on for like a month. And I've tried other things like, you know, myself, healing, Reiki, you know, all of that myself. And I just, and I know there's something going on. So I just can't figure it out. You notice when you eat certain food, it goes right through you. But then other foods make you feel like you, you have air in your stomach, like a lot of air. Pretty much everything makes me feel like, it like gets stuck right at the top, right where my rib cage is, like at the bottom of your rib cage. It feels like everything stops right there and doesn't move. So I could eat half a sandwich and it feels like I could feel it hit my stomach there. And then, um, so this past week and a half, I changed nothing but vegetables and fruit and smoothies to try to eat more clean. And I'm still feeling the same way. Yeah. Your stomach is, um, and your, yeah. 
even your uh, intestines are. I agree. They're like inflamed. I, I, it's almost like you've got this, like they're angry. You know, they're just red and inflamed. And it, it's like, it's all right, we'll take care of it. Your heartburn at all? Yeah, I've never had it before. And it's been really bad for the past month. Yeah. That's when you know that there's an inflammation. It's even in your, um, where the food goes down when you swallow. So I can see it at the end, towards the end of there, going like into your stomach. Up in my, my, my heart yes. area. Yeah. yeah. So tell me something. What kind of uh, cancer has you is in your family? Uh, my dad had prostate cancer. Um, my grandma, my mom's mother passed with uterus cancer or something like that. And... My dad's mom died of cancer, but I don't know what kind. I don't remember because I was so little. I, yeah, I never got to meet her. This is all pointing to like a stomach cancer and, and it's catch. We're catching it now, but and you need to change your diet. Dad, Dad, that's what I was given. You need an alkaline diet. And I was also advised, but I'm not a doctor to advise you, start having borax. Borax? I, I, you talked to me about that before, Phil. And, and you borax? haven't had it yet. You well, you told me to read on upon it, and you I think you sent me something on it. Um, and you've never, going, you've never had it. And you never, <laughs> I never did it because we were at the time you and I we were going, we were you were helping me with a lot of stuff. Yeah. Um. So I don't think you know I was really not on the right page or the right track. Before Deb I, mentioned all that, then I was advised look at borax, but I'm not a doctor, so I can't. And it's got to be a solution. I'll send I'll send you a video later. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. what. It's important. I, I, I have it different how, how it's tell I spring quit in the drink actually just because I'm lazy but I have it how they said you, you can't have too much so I'm not a doctor just you do it as the YouTube video says it yeah yeah and it yeah. outlines your body and it also gets rid of bacteria and fungi and, and the infections and stuff like that okay yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm getting them. I'm getting the messages. You know, it's good that you came today because we can do something about it. But it, it you got to keep it in the back of your mind. You got to eat cleaner and you got to watch watch your intake intake of um, fatty foods and processed foods and right. And I've changed that this past week, my week and a half. It's been almost two weeks. Um, when you yeah, eat out, sure. when you get takeout, they're 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 using processed foods, so you gotta you gotta keep that in mind when you right. take out. Yeah, that's a crap. I know, it makes us sick. Um, the the back of my neck and between my shoulders has been really bad in the past couple of days. I didn't know if it's because my stomach and I was just holding the tension there, or I think I think you've had stress feeding it from your stomach, and the problems in your stomach. It's creating stress here and, and it's negative energy stress, really. And it's going into your joints. It's, it's like arthritis, but it's the start of it if you go wrong. Yeah. Okay. How is it feeling now? Um, not as nervous, I guess. Hmm. It still feels really like bloated, kind of, and burning still. But that's probably what your neck. Hmm? Let's give it a sec. Now the, the kind of like the um, ball that I was feeling at the top of my stomach, like where I said the food would stop, I'm feeling it like right in here now, like right on my, almost at my neck, but not my neck. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> well, actually I feel it from here to there. Yeah. Like long, it just stops like. <clears throat> Father's putting his white diamond light there so he can feel that. So he asks you to see it and feel it. He's removing all of that. He's healing all of it. Can you feel that? Yeah, I do feel it. I'm putting the uh, rings of pl platinum and red for you, your aura field around it. And then I'm, I'm going to give you a bubble of uh, central sun energy, calm it down. All that bloating and that heaviness and all of that should be gone within 24 hours. Nice. But remember, it can't come back. It's up to you. Yeah, you've got, now it's 32 ounces of distilled water. One quarter teaspoon of the borax. borax. 20 mule team, bora team is the only way we get it here in the States. I don't know any other way of getting borax. I, I had to buy it on Amazon because I couldn't find it in the store because they were at some, maybe some stores near you carry it. I don't know. They didn't have any here in Phoenix. Uh, you have to add some juice to it so you don't taste the flavor of it. So mm. you know, like cranberry juice or orange no, juice. Yeah, or, you don't need much of it. You don't need much. 
just a, a little bit, splash some in there. Okay. Drink that. It has to be distilled water. We we use a lot of distilled water in this house. You want to? Are you done, Phil? Anyone? Yeah, I'm done. Done. Want to get Do some from me cards? Um, are you ready with the cards? No. Nope. Tell her. Tell them when to stop, honey. Oh, stop. <laughs> Yeah, do you want Oracle or do you want Alistair Crowley Tarot? <laughs> I'll do Oracle. It doesn't matter. Uh, Self-acceptance, playfulness. So it's, it's, can't, can't really mean what they mean, don't they? Yeah, you, you're being too, being a lot difficult for yourself. Start loving yourself. Stop being serious. And the best way to do that is more play in your time. Have fun on your journey. Yeah. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Welcome. I've sent you the link, by the way. Oh, awesome. Because okay, I'll forget. All right. Next is Lindsay. Hi. Hi. Um, I I um had um the, a person in my workplace. Um, she she does nasty things and put spells and stuff on me, but my back has been, um, in pain. And, um, the last time it hurt was when she was doing stuff on me. So I was wondering if you could check for that and, or, um, any scan me or anything. Yes. Yes. How do you know she's doing stuff on you? What sort of stuff is she doing? Um, well, last she time, did... the last time you were with us, we, we, yeah, I know. Doing stuff. yeah and she backed up quite a bit there um and i i set boundaries um, and everything and then um she kind of had a, an episode recently um and i spoke the truth in a respectful way didn't go over well um and um she it was pretty nasty um so um but my back pain is back now so i don't know if i'm carrying energy from that or it's like there's a piece of broken jagged glass in the in the like in the, around your waistline in your back. Oh, I can see it. It's spiritual, but I can see it. Oh, well, um, I think she was from the witch's time, and the pe- the owner is was I think the prosecutor during the witch's time of when she had me killed. But um, I'm hopefully I've cleared that out. Um, but I don't know. Did Did you forgive? I, um, I, I've forgiven for many of the things. Um, so I just, I don't know how to, I mean, I definitely like when we had conversations, I aligned myself with love am in love. I responded in love. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, did you forgive yourself for holding the energy? No. Um, you th- you've got to forgive yourself as well. And you've got to send love to whoever's arming you or, 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 because uh, love energy is the most powerful energy. So you can send love to her now. Uh, it, it, it's a weird way of doing it, but that's the only way you can do it. <laughs> okay. Uh, so what, what? So you've got a bad back. Yeah, that's and was it, really the what? only time it seems to be triggered um, when she has an episode or whatever. She's triggered by me for something. Um, that was the last <laughs> time. Do you think she's doing it deliberately or is she just thinking it and it's doing it? Some people can do it oh. without realizing they're doing it. Oh, maybe. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah. She's okay. a bit not. Okay. But as long as you can feel this energy, it's coming up. Is she the one that we had a picture of her up? Yeah, I can show you a picture again if you want me to show you. Yeah, I remember. She's aware of what she's doing. She was trying to get me fired um, for lies last week. So. She's very aware of what she's doing. That's very unfortunate. Is your back pain easy enough now? Yes, there's uh, less tension um, there. Yes, it is easy enough. And it's like going up my back, which is great, too. It's cool. Ooh, it's going down my legs. Cool. My heart. I think he's picking up on it because he gets like that. Remember, he's protective. I had like, I feel like there was a release in my heart as well. I didn't realize it had tension there, but I felt the openness there. I have to tell you that she's extremely jealous of you and 
you're handling it the right way and you're trying to be diplomatic and, and kind throughout this. You just have to let her hang herself and that's exactly what she will do and just carry on the way you're doing it. You're doing it the right way. And send love. Yeah. Standing in, stand in your power and stand in love. She, eventually she's just going to self implode. Yeah. <laughs> or, Thank you. or find, find the, the light within herself. It, it's, you know, she's, she can't have it though. She can't continue the way she is. She's really, really unhappy. Uh, it, yeah. She's miserable with herself, but she doesn't, she's just continuing to make herself miserable because she's so jealous. And it's how sad is that? I know it is where you live in trying to make somebody else's life miserable because you're just so envious of them. And that's all it is. And if she only saw that she's a beautiful woman too, and she has her own talents, you know, make your own life. Stop worrying about other people. Exactly. Be happy, be happy in other people. Mm -hmm. I get it. People yeah. are so worried about what other people are doing. Look at what's happening in your own life. How, look, all the time you waste. Yeah. I try to be in love and alignment to be like a teacher in that as well. And, you know, I definitely am not triggered like I was, but I do take on the energy, but I feel, Philip, I feel my back feels so much better and my heart feels way open. Yeah, it really does. Thank and you. That's exactly, she was stabbing you in the back is what she was doing. And oh, then, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank it's you. That's very, very sad. Very sad. And you just thank have you. to feel for her, for her. Um, and is there, can you tell the, say the PayPal that we can send donations or I post it in the link? Cause I couldn't, I, I think I just, uh, the PayPal is, oh, is heal teach love at Gmail. Um, oh. we also have, I, Phil and I, we split every, every week, whatever oh. it is. Um, cause, um, but there's also other ways of doing it. If, if you're in the United States, um, I also have Venmo, which is heal teach love at Gmail. So it's easier, oh. no fees. I'll I do think, that. Yeah. He'll teach love. Sometimes I get it and Deb gets it and uh, it, it's cheaper fees because obviously Deb's got to send it on. So PayPal get two lots of fees. But it's yeah. whatever you want to do. Oh, which one's better? PayPal or Venmo? I'll be he'll teach love. Yeah. If it's I if it's Venmo, then I just I just split it. I I, I send him PayPal. I send one lump sum um yeah. of PayPal to him after everything's said and done. So okay. if you're in the States and you want to do Venmo, it, it's he'll teach love. Got it. Email it is is also Venmo. Okay. Got it. I'm going to do that. So okay. if, and if you're in, uh, outside the U.S., it always has to be PayPal. Okay. Uh, I sent the energy that she sent you back to her. So it's probably a bit naughty right there, isn't it? <laughs> but with a warning. Mischievous. Yes. A little Thank warning you. there. So she might have a bad back when you see it at work. <laughs> But at the oh, end of the day, if she's sending it out, she should get it back. It's her energy yeah. at the end of the day. Wow, that feels so much better. Thank you. Yeah. That, no. Golly, that feels a lot better. Thank you. Yeah. Um, he, you want a card? Yeah. From yeah. Oh, sure. You've got, I've put a shield on you as well. A oh, deflection shield as well. Yeah. Yes, thank you. I had two cards. Okay, stop. Quick. Right. <laughs> right, the two cars is manifestation. Is, um, your cat's saying hello to us. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hello. And balance. <laughs> oh, balance and manifestation. Okay. I need to yeah. balance to be better manifesting. Balance. Yeah. Manifestation. Your plans may change, but you will see peace and happiness on the path. That's because yeah. you've met me, Deb and Rick. As well. That's right. Thank you, guys. You're the best. Uh, I love you so much. Thank you. Yeah. And ba balance. I haven't said balance. Oh, we know you're busy. If you need help, ask. So ask your guides if you need help as well. Yeah. I definitely will. Thank you. Thank you're you. welcome. Okay, let's see. Irina, Agatha. Is there an Irina here? Uh, Irina. Irina. Yes, she is. She's here. Right. I've gone to sleep. She stepped away. There she Hello. is. Hello. Yes. You wanted a healing? Just, yes, please. Yeah. Let me pin you. Keep your eyes open. For just a minute, yeah. I'm getting neck ache. You got neck pain now and again. Yeah. If I get the neck pain, it means I've took some of your neck pain away. <laughs> do you speak English? Do you, do, you, I, I, do you speak English, Irina? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. You, you weren't saying anything. <laughs> oh, I, I had difficulties with my phone, that's all. Okay. I, something going on with your eyes. What's going on? 
Do you feel like there's something inside? Uh, mm. I'm just showing her back out, actually. The back seems so. Is your back so? Top yeah. Part. Yeah. Mm, you've got, um, you've got a, a person inside. You've got a lost soul in your eye. Hello. Do you, um, do you hear voices in your head? Do oh, you I hear that? a lot of things. <laughs> Do you hear an old man talking sometimes? Uh, an old man, no. Mm. You have a person, uh, a lost soul, and he's in your eye. That's why I said there's something going on with your eye. Is it the right one? It's a, your left one. Oh, okay. Interesting. He's How long a, have you had, had the bad back and neck? How long have I had? Sorry. I ba- I your, bad you. neck, your bad neck and bad back. Oh, I don't know. I, I just got used to it. Just leave right. with it. I'm just wondering if this lost soul is uh, partly responsible for it getting worse. This uh, lost soul broke his back. Interesting. You attract the vibration, yeah. <laughs> the old saying. See, he's got pain in his back. He's got pain in he, His car went off a cliff. So his that's how he broke his back. How's the car? <laughs> <laughs> You're so you're so bad. He was he was a passenger in the car. Interesting. Can you feel that energy coming into you now? I do. I'm sitting down. Yes, I do. Up my spine. Have you got his name yet? That by the way. Yeah, Henry George Montclair is his last name. Montclair. Okay. You know, he just told me Edward was driving. <laughs> Who? I can't, Edward was driving. I'll carry on. I'll carry on. Okay, see? <laughs> he wasn't driving. Is Edward part of this too? No, Edward was driving. He's a bit angry because of that, wasn't he? Yeah. Hmm. He wasn't ready to go. That's what he's angry with Edward killing him, basically. Who's here? Mother Mary. You may feel a difference in your eye as he's releasing himself now. Yeah, he's gone. He's gone to the light. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, your eye looks better. <laughs> You're not the first person who's seen something in the eye. Interesting. All right, now let's do healing on that. It's on the back. Yeah, good, thanks. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> he was interesting. Do you have any complaints? Mm, lower back. It should feel better now. How does it feel? Better. Yeah, because he he was causing some of that because that's where he hurt his back. Oh. <laughs> I see. It, it, it's <laughs> like mirror. It's like his energy is mirroring things to yours. If you get what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, he he broke his back with that car accident when it went over the cliff. He broke his back, and that's that, that's what killed him. Was that well in the car accident itself? Um, you may feel some warmth going through your body, but I see Phil, the energy Phil put in you, but it looks almost looks like um, electricity going through you. You may feel that for the next seven days. I can see it going through you. So you've got some pretty powerful energies going through you right now. Hot stuff, Phil. All right. I said, I'm you're fi- hot stuff. I can see the electricity <laughs> going through you. <laughs> 5D, that one. I'm burning at, at the moment. I think wow. I'm using too much power. <laughs> I've had to take my coat off. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm in England, Manchester. I shouldn't be taking my coat off. Unless the eating's on too high. It could be coming. Do you want two cards to say stop? Yes. Stop. Yeah. Just a blessing. Freedom. That's something we all want at the moment. Freedom. Freedom. <laughs> and blessings. Mm-hmm. All right. Blessings is really good. Blessing means you're getting extra blessings because of the difficulties you are in. So you, you guardian angels and angels are giving you extra blessings, freedom. You might feel trapped in prison. You've got the keys to get out. So if you feel like your journey needs a change, you've got the keys to change them. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, Ryan. How are you guys going? Can you hear me all right? Yeah. How are you guys should going? Said, I should have said no. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, you must be in the astral. We didn't hear you at all. <laughs> How's it going? Yeah, not too bad. So I'm probably the best I've ever been in my life. 
um, uh, you know, thanks to you guys. And, and um, yeah, I've got this thing in my throat, but I don't know. I'm going to leave it to you. Like, this, yeah, scan and heal. Thank you. Well, you've, got, <laughs> you've got ants in your throat. What the hell? They're like army ants. Why, why do you have ants in your throat? I really don't know. I've not been around any people. Um, you keep saying that. I haven't eaten it. you went in front of people, you wouldn't get these critters. <laughs> well, I, that's that's what I'm saying. Like, it must be through my dream time. Like, I don't know if it's a lifetime thing or, or if it's astral or it's just, I really don't know. Like, I had like an ant came in here for a while. I got rid yeah. of them um, in my physical after a big storm. After that big storm, we had all the ants. And, um, <laughs> I got rid of them. I, uh, I just never know what I'm going to find inside of you. I think it's. I think this place is very like it's, there's a hole here. I feel like there's a hole, and anything can just get in, like no matter what. Well, maybe we should seal up that hole. Yeah, to so actually get them in, you must have an aura fault. Must you must, mm. The auric field must be faulty for them to get in. Spirit, spirit, exactly. It's like a spiritual. Pa- they like spiritual parasites, aren't they? So yeah, it must be the auric field. Anyway, dreams like that. Well, yeah, I have been having them and um there was one moment where there was like i couldn't see this person in like in the hallway this is in the dream but i felt like trembling like i'm so scared like i could sense it It was like i was really frightened of it you know and it woke me up and i kind of i could still kind of i thought i could still see it when i woke up but um that was just weird i was just doing my normal wandering around just walking around wandering around and i saw that thing but that was only interesting thing i can remember Mm -hmm. (laughs) <laughs> okay, let's get rid. Hey. Okay. You might feel a bit warm. Like fever warm. Like hot fever. Mm-hmm. Did you feel that warm, right? Mm-hmm. Right. <clears throat> That's good. I found a new trick, Deb. If you program your brain to get a fever here, I can send that energy over there. It's a new one. <laughs> <laughs> clever. That's clever, though. Yeah. Yeah. First time I've done that. That's, never, I, that's never, probably me female aspect gives me all this information. Typical. That's cool. I was always getting <laughs> always new ways. Yeah. Always. Does it feel gone there? Actually, I'll, 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 we've got rid of the press. Like we need your oracle field building up, don't we? So I'll do it. Well, well, to do that, we've got to send our chi energy. It's the easiest way to build up our aura field. Uh, have you done that? You got two cards. Thanks for that, guys. Oh, stop. Mm. It's a self acceptance day. <laughs> <laughs> self acceptance. We've had one of these before where we got it about six times. Truth and integrity. Which I said right. So, so, truth and integrity. If you make any mistakes, release this record to your angels and let them create the miracles to get rid of them. And self acceptance. It's too difficult on yourself. Start loving yourself more. Okay. It's a never ending. Well do well done. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. Have a lovely day, guys. And you? You too. Bonnie. Bon Bon. Hello. Hey everybody. Hello. What are we doing here? Oh, scan. Scan and heal. Yeah. What I'm seeing are black and blue marks all over you. <laughs> well, that's literal though. <laughs> I, I know. That's what I'm saying. I'm actually seeing black and blue marks on your body. <laughs> Not on the inside, on the outside. What are you even doing? Moving. Oh, okay. Orange. I can it all I'm doing, back I'm to doing one the place. same thing. I'm doing the same thing and it sucks. Yeah. Well, that was after the eviction. Now I'm just trying to gather all my stuff and put it in a unit. Well, that's, so, good. that's good. Plus working. So it's I'm going. Uh, it's just looks like exhaustion and black and blue marks and sore muscles yeah i'm, I'm picking exhaustion and aches and pains yeah I'm picking eight aches in your joints yeah that thigh muscle on the left leg and the groin muscle is still sore but at least now i can at least sit longer and move <laughs> my birds are ready to go to bed <laughs> they're letting me know I you can hear them i'm wearing the amulet phil so if you want to power that up and make sure i got it right <laughs> i forgot to post the picture you need to do a bit of grounding as well, keeping some of the stress. And, but I can imagine moving in everything that's happened is very stressful, but you need to find a way of getting rid of it, staying in your head a bit too much. That's part of the reason why your joints are painful, just feeding it. Well, the labor part of it is how I'm being productive and re- trying to release some of that too and heal it. 
kind of like an exercise way, physical therapy. But we've been having some weird weather here. You feel that energy? Yeah, along my, my hips and down my buttocks, top of my thighs are getting warmer. It's not when so I feel it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm joking. <laughs> that was a joke. I made a joke in me today because it's, it's one o'clock in the morning. Actually, I, I, it was amusing only. I thought maybe it was my new client talking through you. Oh, you, yeah. should, you should feel the energy in your shoulders and everything too. All your yeah joints. The release uh, right back here too. You know, I've got a message. You need to drink some water. <laughs> Just drink it. <laughs> I, can't believe, that, I can't believe you're drinking it. <laughs> well, it's because whenever I think when you and I connect, because I use mine too, when we connect, yeah. I just get overheated so bad that I just have to have it right here. How about a small bottle? A small, yeah, that small oh. bottle. Oh my God. <laughs> I, I can drink one of those in one day, depending. That's good. <laughs> okay. And I don't have my fan next to me either. Oh, that feels better. Do you, do you want All to right. see cats, by the way? Yes, please. Say stop. Stop. Ooh. I don't know if you know him, actually. Have you ever heard of Michael? Pardon? Michael. Archangel Michael. Have you ever heard him? <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> side by side. What color yeah. is he this time? Please tell me he's blue, not red this time. He's, he, is, he will be blue. Thank he's you. Blue. He's always blue. He's not red. Yeah, he's, he's, red. Very, oh. he's, he's very cold. That's why he's blue. Yeah. <laughs> you may feel need a miracle. Uh, let God... Sh- oh, sorry. No, Michael's saying he's he's there. Sorry, I'm I'm, I'm thought of a miracle for a minute. Michael's saying he's there behind you, uh, and you've got your power back by all these moves. You're the power of the creator. Yeah, so remember that you got the power of the creator. And Archangel Michael's with you. That's not bad, that. Yeah, well, tell him to quit pushing me. He doesn't push. He's testing me <laughs> with all them pain. Yeah, he doesn't push. If someone's pushing you, it's surely not Archangel Michael. Come on. He, he, he does the, the odd joke with me. So. That's because I'm a joker. He does it I, I was going to say, I think that's the bantering between. Mm. Thank you. De- definitely. How do you feel now, anyway? Um, hot. And, of course, I have to go to the restroom now. That's her. Do I look purple to you guys? Mm? I don't know. I look purple to me. A little bit. Yeah. yeah. Still works. Grateful. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Good to see you. Good to see all of you. Dolores. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? Good, thanks. Um, what, what, what stage is she at? She hasn't improved. Um, she's actually yeah, what's, been... What in, stage? Oh, stage four, perhaps in a bit more. So I've changed her treatment. You can't have any more. <laughs> yeah, stage four, is it? Yeah, stage four pancreatic. Oh. Um, so she's been in hospital for a couple of weeks. So she'll be there a little bit longer. So I haven't actually asked her today for healing, but last time I asked her, she was happy to. And I thought if you like to ask her higher self. No, she's already given permission. You have a picture? Yep, because she's no, very she's... receptive. Can you see? No. No, she's already given permission last time, so it's fine. Yeah. Can you, can you see now? No, it's all reflection. Just turn it down, maybe. Or There, there you, you go. go. Yeah. Is that better? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. This picture was taken about the second week Third week of December. Last Dolores, year. this is this is how she wanted to go. Uh, this is her contract. Uh, I understand that. Yeah. She, just put it on. Uh, I uh, was giving that actually, Deb. I was giving the same. You were getting the same. I was giving the same. It's the time. That's what I'm um, but let's see what I can do. I just feel like she needs a bit of relief. She's, she's in a lot of pain. She's angelic. She definitely is. Um. She came here to experience human to be being human, and she chose this 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 disease too. She chose it, um, trying to ease her pain. Thank you. Is she um awake? Yes, she is. Can you tell her that she's an angelic? I'll, I'll definitely tell her. Yes. Um, she chose this as this this is her this this was her choice to leave the planet this way. And yeah, I wouldn't t- I wouldn't tell her that. Yeah, no, she won't understand that if I say that to her. Yeah, I wouldn't. She won't I wouldn't understand. I, I could say it to her, but I don't. I feel she has so much I, going on. I, I don't think say, you want to I hear would, that. Yeah, don't don't say that. I'll I just tell her she's an angelic. I would, I would want to know. Okay. 
but uh, that's fine. Uh, uh, I know that she's no. an angel, but uh, yeah, the angel's okay, but nothing else. Yeah, just she's had healing up us. But she's um, yeah. Whenever her time is up, though, she goes back to the angelic realm. That's what that's. She wanted to to learn how to. She wanted to um, experience being human. That's why she came here. There's so much happening besides the health. Just tell her how beautiful she is. She really is. She is beautiful. And that she brought her light to to Earth. She really did. She brought a lot of light. I'm not, I'm writing this down. And I'm going to tell her. And and how grateful that uh, those that knew that know her are because of her light. Let her know. I've tried to do work on her cancer anyway. So. Uh, the pain should ease a bit anyway. Thank you. And have her do some deep breaths and and bring the, the healing energy from her heart because she has that power to bring in the energy to to um ease that pain, to take the pain away herself too. All her tool chest is in her heart. Let her know there's a lot of us sending her so much love. Does she have a bad back, by the way? Yes, she um, went into hospital because she wasn't able to move like about two and a half weeks ago, and she's been in since. And um, since then, she hasn't had any more chemo. They found infect like she was on antibiotics. Then two days ago, they found they found an infection, but I don't know the source of it. And now she can't walk. Do you want two cards for her? Yes, please. You can say stop for that. Stop. Healing and harmony. I actually have that deck and I'll say, I'm going to bring them in and show her. Yeah, healing, basically, that, what that means is if she stops focusing on the problem, it'll get improved, if you get what I mean. Yeah? Because uh, yes. she's probably dwelling on, on what's going to happen in this and the other, and it's not helping anyway. And that harmony, the angels are saying... Let go of your troubles, bring harmony. So it's very similar cards, if you get what I mean. Yeah? Yes. So don't worry about anything. And that will help, that will help the, some of the pain to go. Oh. She only got it in one place? Or is she going Sorry? I'm sure she got um, it she, when she goes to the oncologist, she doesn't want to know the details. She just wants to know treatment. So yeah. I, don't know. I don't know much more than that, not unless I speak to one of her friends, which, mm. yeah. Oh, when she yeah. went for the initial consultation, they told she only had two weeks. That was April last year. She's doing well. Then. What, what, she what didn't want got, to know about that, though. Sorry. Yeah. What you've got to do is, uh, in healing, you've got to starve the cancer from the fluids of the body and also the energy of the body. Because basically, the body is feeding the cancer. And if you can stop it feeding it, it will basically reduce it's dead difficult. You've got to put a bubble of energy around it. Okay. But I've tried anyway. So. Thank you. Thank you. It, thank you so it's, much. It's just with the chemo, it makes it even harder, if you get what I mean. She hasn't had chemo for three weeks now because she usually yeah. has chemo every second Monday. Mm. I'm not a fan of chemo. But there you go. Same here. Neither am I. Okay. All right, Deb. All right, um, Gabrielle. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank buddy. you. Oops. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. I was hoping if you could do a healing scan on me, uh, in particular my uh, reproductive organs. Yeah, I got your um, your note. Thank you. I'm not seeing that information. Um, did you already do healing on her, Phil? No. I had. I have done a minute or two. Um, I had a. Uh, Got on to a live with my friend Gretel, and um, like uh, she did uh, a clearing. Um, something came up about past lives and fertility, and then um, the goddess of creation came in, and she said that she would <clears throat> assist me um, in getting uh, pregnant and with other things. So that's a good thing. You're not seeing it. Yeah, I don't see the diagnosis that they gave you. Is what I, the information I'm, I'm that that you gave me. I I don't see that oh. diagnosis. Okay, good. But I'm not a doctor. I'm hey. just not getting that information. I understand. That's a good thing, though. Because yes. Do you have pain? Have you had recently had pain in in, in shoulder, shoulder, like that? Yeah. Yeah. Good. <clears throat> I see a dart in her shoulder. Your left shoulder. My left shoulder, um, I got into a car accident 
uh, a long time ago and uh, it stretched like the tendon out like a rubber band, but it just didn't snap the rubber band. So it was, but, I, I see a, I see a dart like um, if it's like a spiritual dagger, I don't know. Yeah, it's a spiritual deck or dart. It looks like a, like, um, maybe it happened today because I fell going up the stairs out of nowhere. Like, I don't know how it happened. Um, I found that strange. This this is funny because it's like a thought form that it became a weapon. Okay. Did it come from V? I'm trying to see who it came from, but. What's V? Vashon. He's who I did the cord cutting Uh, with. I'm not getting that it came from him. Okay. Is there a woman involved? Uh-huh. I'm getting it's female, feminine. Okay, that makes sense. <sighs> okay, taking care of that. I've also done healing on your physical body. I'm sure that Phil did as well. Yeah, I did. Um, Phil, I think a mirror <laughs> facing out. Mm-hmm. A mirror facing out around her. Yeah, I've done that. Uh, I also said that, but. What happens is if another thought form comes towards you, it'll, it'll go back to the sender. Mm. Thank you so much. It'll just go back. We won't send it three times, but like the old saying. Just say stop. Yeah. Stop. Listening. This could be in dream state. <laughs> Listening. Right. Can you see that? I'll see what. And truth and integrity. Yeah. Which I can now nearly say right. Listening. This confirms you are... You are listening to to them using your intuition. So a lot of times it's in sleep mode. So truth and integrity. You might have difficulties, but hold onto your beliefs and let the past teach you the lessons. Go forward. Oh, so, that. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. You have dreams, I, feel, though. Mm-hmm. I have really active dreams, like where I feel like I'm living a like different life or in different states in my dream state, and I wake up and like. I can remember little bits and pieces, but I try to go back to sleep to figure it out or make sense of what I can remember, but it feels very vivid. Um, Mm. A lot of times, like I'm trying to find things or I might even be like a different like version of myself, like somewhere else. It's really confusing sometimes. Dreams are. (laughs) Yeah. They might not be dreams at the end of the day. Yeah. Might be an, another life. <laughs> yeah. That That's makes sense. So we'll definitely try to listen and uh, get back to taking notes on what I am remembering. Sometimes it's good to have a pad and paper next to you while you're in bed. Yeah. Write it down. Exactly. Yeah. Our voice notes. Man. Okay. Thank you guys so much. I really you're appreciate it. I feel so great. Thank you. Love you. You're welcome. Thank you. You ready for Victoria? <laughs> Victoria? She's on me. You're on mute. Um, hang on. Let me turn off some sound here. I don't know if you can hear it. We can hear it. Okay. Turn it off already. I had some meditation music going in the background. Um, hi, guys. Hi. hi. The usual. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we start with Bobby. Hmm. Okay. He's got something different this time. He's got just something on his bottom jaw. Not, nothing in his throat this time. That's weird. There's something wrapped around his bottom jaw. Is he having trouble? Is he opening his mouth and doing weird stuff? Well, he's licking a lot, like, you know, like, you know, doing that. But yeah, see, so they've got something wrapped around his bottom jaw. I, I noticed he was, you know, he was doing more, more of the, the tongue movement around the mouth. This morning, I did some healing on him before I went out. And, you know, he felt better. I mean, he stayed calmly, like he laid down the pillow there and really enjoyed the, the energy because he's getting the white light. But yesterday, you know, every day I, I do some healing on him to help him. Good. And, you know, to give him, pass some of my life force energy to him to help him out. Yeah, but I went out for a number of hours, so I don't know. He probably got that probably recent. Yeah, it, yeah it's just around. It's just weird. It's just around his bottom jaw. What, what, what is it? It's like a, a, a wire. It's just to irritate them. Why did they do that to the poor dog? Because they can't get to you. It's like, really? And he's so small. He's only like six, seven pounds. 
makes you really wonder I mean, what's wrong with these people? because they know they're they'll get to you emotionally they'll bring down your vibration if they bring down your vibration low enough then they can get to you so you got to stop getting emotional about it mm-hmm. you gotta stay neutral and know mm-hmm. that you know you can help bobby mm-hmm. you know you got to stop letting it get to you mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Stop it. it's improved okay <laughs> Because even Bobby doesn't want you to lower your vibration. Oh, yeah. He tells me. When he needs help, he comes to me. So um, when, sometimes it's really hard when he's coughing and stuff. Yeah. But if you if you lower your vibration, then you can't help him. Yeah. So stop getting emotional. Stay, stay up here. Yeah, try. Are there anything like any portals open? Because I did, I did try to do a bit of clearing earlier on. So I don't know if it's it, nothing in your apart room. from your mom's huh? apart from your mom's port, right. portal. Yeah. That's, but that's the where the but that that's where they're coming from, right? No, because we closed it. No. <laughs> oh, okay. Um. You so remember, just, I yeah. remember that <laughs> we did a lot of work on that. And um, <laughs> Bobby, but I think Bobby had a bit of some some on his chest. Some energy I've removed. I don't know where it is. Yeah. Some he he was going like when I was giving him energy on the chest and he was like putting his paw telling me there 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 go there you know Mm -hmm. um I thought it was just that he was getting congested because he keep getting choked and then it keep going down and he's been having these growling sound you know in the tummy you know you know growling sound yeah so I thought it was intertwined and sometimes I do see depending on the lighting you know in his body there's like uh, a darker energy covering one area, you know, you can see that. So just depending. I don't I think always... it was I think it was getting a little bit of discomfort, but it's gone now because he came over to me. So, yeah. I, I noticed that when I'm healing him or when I have my hands on him and stuff, he was um struggling with breathing, like kind of like burping up gas, that kind of sound. And and before you know it, I am burping up gas because I'm taking it from him, right? Mm. So I think that's one way to heal him is to draw everything over to me instead and let me deal with it. Mm, you can do that and then ground it. Don't, don't keep it. <laughs> no wonder, yeah. I always forget about that. I do that a lot on these healing events. It's the easiest way to heal. Instead of sending healing and energy, you just take what what's no good to it and put it over to, to the person. Just drag it up and send the energy in. And then you haven't got that negative energy that's in the way if you get what I mean you got to shift it then do the healing yeah mm. so yeah you're doing that right practice mm-hmm. I don't want this kind of practice on baby but I have no choice <laughs> I just the, you're mom, giving the a... mom always got to heal the baby <laughs> yeah. yeah are we um giving baby a card a car oh card I thought you said a car <laughs> well, that's gonna be interesting <laughs> you know a Mercedes Benz one of those and let him try yeah. one <laughs> Run the dark beans over. <laughs> Good, Good idea. <laughs> um, say, say stop for it. Stop for Bobby. One card. Well, as many as you want for Bobby. She's going to be scanned. Uh, yeah. Victoria, but Dolores can look at me. Self acceptance. Self acceptance and freedom. Bobby, self acceptance and freedom. Yeah, he should start loving himself. Did you know how to tell him? <laughs> I mean, self acceptance. How could he not be self acceptant? The, the freedom, he may feel trapped in the house and he needs some walks. That could be it. <laughs> hey, I do try to walk him. And when he goes out, I mean, um, when it rains, he can't go. But I have yeah. been walking him whenever I can. Mm-hmm. And he goes out for like an hour and something. He, you he know, walks- I, I don't give that dog more that much. <laughs> He's not happy with me. <laughs> So you're giving him well. You're doing well. I, I really do try with them. You know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I do. I don't see anything with you. There's nothing. Mm-hmm. My, You have no attachments. You have no... Your your health looks good. Your energy level is good. Just getting rid of this fear with Bobby. That's all you need to do. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to keep my vibration high, but my energy is being shared, as you know, split up in different places. Yes. But I've been having a bit of abdominal the left side almost like the ovary area there you know you know pinching and stuff like that and discomfort and I think it might just it might be related to 
to my twin because he was going through sacral clearing and stuff like that too. And it might also be the remnants of my November etheric surgery there, you know, a little. Yeah, it sets, clearing sacral is difficult because it's like the emotions, isn't it? It's not a good, good one to clear because it can be quite emotional to clear your sacral chakra. He's, yeah. I think, I think it's linked to him. I mean, I, it's like, it's like I never had, um, I never really had, uh, like those kind of feeling before, and o- only going through the time when he was having ego death and, um, he's in the void and he's going through that. That's where these abdominal issues like really flared up, and it might not be even mine per se. You know what I mean? But I'm mm-hmm. taking it in. And it, it and I found out that it wasn't just him; it was the collective energy. So whoever is around who's having these issues can also, because I'm emphatic and I bring it in, I'm magnetizing it in, you know, drawing it into my body. Mm-hmm. Wow! So nothing, any message for me? Uh, from where? Anywhere. From, from a card? <laughs> um, anywhere. I don't have anything coming through. Mm-hmm. I don't have anything yet. Amazing. Not today. Not today. No complaint. It's a good thing, right? Right. <laughs> yeah, I am getting a message that you you should go go on your journey, Mark. What journey? Your, your spiritual journey. Spiritual journey. I do I do try sometime, but yeah, it, it's a sometimes, which is nearly but, never. <laughs> but no, but what what do you mean by spiritual journey in that sense? Because I see a your lot. Your job of here. People. Your job here. My job here. Yeah. Like what? There's so many things I I have to do here. Yeah. Can you elaborate on that? No, it's just a message. Mm. They're talking about the Buddha work. Mm. Mm. I, I did go. I did go out to to the forest in in Southeast Asia earlier today in, in the morning, and I worked with the elementals with the dragons. If that counts as spiritual work, I mean, yeah, it comes. Of course it, of course it is. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Um, all right, I I can do more. Yeah, the message is to you. I, I, I'm a prisoner. <laughs> mm. You've just got to, whatever you feel at this at the beginning is normally because your intuition's bang on. So it will mm-hmm. be right. and you want two cards as well. Sure. Which will probably be spiritual growth or something. <laughs> I was actually asking for. Remember, you told me to set intention for something hard and i did i have five things i put intention for and i'm trying to to manifest those ones and get it done and they're hard something i can't possibly do by myself at least i didn't think i can but now i know i can so changing shifting say stop stop so do you want to guess the cats oh gosh what, what do you think they are it's gonna be the spiritual thing again right trust um, it's always seems to come out. Um, the child usually comes out, and what else right, comes right. out? Right. Think the about child. it. I, I said you've got to set your intentions, mm-hmm. and I also said you've got to do spiritual work. And you said you were connecting to the elementals, and you mm-hmm. get intentions and nature. There intentions and nature, yeah. Yeah. So basically, what we've been saying. So it looks like you are actually going to do it. Of course, yeah. I'm going to do it. I just <laughs> got a stepped aside to do yeah. other things my own personal thing that's what i did the intentions is very similar to what what the message was got to set some goals yeah and nature connect with nature every day okay mm-hmm. so you got to connect to your nature every day and set some goals i'd say spiritual goals oh there's one thing i want to ask about you guys you guys might know this i have um i have some totem animals like um crows, ravens, seagulls that come, a bunch of them, okay? And they follow me around everywhere I go when I walk my baby. And they come to my house, my yard and everything. They're circling around my house like every day. Every day, they're watching me from all, all angles. I know that they're doing that deliberately. Um, we we regularly have people who who are um, who have totem animals like birds, wild birds. Um, I actually spoke to... The ravens and told them to come in and help me out in the astral help me out with the negative energies i told them to come and remove them when you see them in the space around us and i know that they are not only there as messenger cold deliverer and everything but they're also there to transmute 
And I remember the first time I worked with the raven and the crow, the, the, the you know, blackbird energy, it was in a journey where I met up with a shamanic woman, one of the elders, who I don't know. And, and she gave me she gave me a box to bring home and I brought home the box inside to open it. There was a, a blackbird in it. And that time, because uh, I guess it became my totem, if you know what I mean. So how do you work with them other than talking to them and, you know, you know, doing that? Because they sometimes show me if um, like there was a death in one of the birds. And I believe it was it was the elder bird that died. And, and what happens was they were mourning it and there was there was the lineage of, of that particular line and that particular line no matter whether it's the children and grandchildren they are devoted to be to continue the legacy of the grandparent the one who is my totem who picked me so that bird entire family will come to me and protect me they literally, there are moments you see them standing at the two gates and in front of my house, the roof, the roof in front of my house there, literally almost like as if they are guarding the entrance. They do that. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering if you have anything you can add on uh, or how to better work with these birds and if you have any experience. Because a lot of people could do this, you know, with, with birds that come through. I haven't, think I, I've never done it, so... The raven is I'm my, the raven is also my bird. Mm. My spirit one, animal is. Yeah, uh, I had one follow me all over the the Grand Canyon. Oh, sweet. where I went, it it went with me. Mm -hmm. um, all you can do is communicate with them and and let them. You just have to have a relationship with them, and you've already made a pact with them. Mm -hmm. you, it sounds like you already communicate with them, so I don't know what your question is when um, you're communicating. Well, we're communicating. Um, well, I don't always know if, because, you know, because I get all these negative energy, sometimes there was this, you know, they would dive bomb almost. They would dive down. When when I was being attached with a very dark energy, they try to help remove it. When I'm out walking, along with Bobby, they're taking care of us when we're there. Mm -hmm. But inside the, in, inside the house is a different story because we don't know when we're going to get energies that are going to stir up problems. So I was like wondering if they can come in to my home in the astral as well and deal with these energies, it, which they can. I am sure they can. Do you ever feed them? Of course, I feed them. That's I give them. Time. I give them salmon. I give them chicken, like real raw salmon, and not um bread, bird seeds. I feed them all the time, and this is why they all follow bread, me. Bread's not, yeah, bread's not good for them. Yeah. Peanut Peanut butter is okay, but uh, and crackers, but not bread. Bread's not good. Okay, then seeds, I'll get... seeds are good. Seeds are really good. Then um, I'll, and, I'll and even 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 thinly sliced chicken and some salmon. The, the fish is better than I think the chicken, but they'll they'll eat it. Yeah. Yeah, we have a whole bunch of raw salmon because my brother also works in the fish fish plant there, yeah. and so he gets brings home a lot of these you know pieces of stuff. So I, I I will feed them once in a while. Yeah, sure. but that they'll stay they'll stay around longer if you feed yeah. them. Yeah, <laughs> they'll always stay by by you. But you can communicate with them, and and uh, there are their ancestors and astral that will that can help you. Or there are some because I figured that they're they're all the time. I never never and since I'm always being bothered by these darker energies, why don't I just call upon them? Right? Yes, you can. Victoria, um, we love you, but we got to move on. Okay, thank you. Love you. Thanks, Victoria. Love you, love you guys. <laughs> okay, so I'm just, Dolores, you, you need us to do you and your husband. Okay, you're muted, honey. Okay, that's my husband. I forgot Can his you name. see? Yeah, I forgot his name. John. John. Can thank you. A little bit? Can you hold it up a little bit? There you go. There you go. Is he lollipop three? Yes. No, we, no, 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 no. We we did it already, though. That's we? right, yeah, yes. Yeah. He is that. <laughs> you know, you can share his picture. You don't have to hold it up. You can share it on here instead of doing your phone. We got, we got it. Oh, I don't know how to do that. Sorry. <laughs> okay. It's okay. Connect. Technical challenge. Do you want to send it to me in Messenger, his picture in Messenger, and I'll bring it up. It, you don't have to hold it. Um, now? Yeah. Oh, I, oh okay. 
I'll try and do it. Facebook Messenger. I'll, I'll have, I have to log on to Facebook. Yeah. I'm having problems with um, internet connection as well, but I'll try. Don't seem to be getting anywhere. Oh, okay. Sorry. Do, do you need me to send it? Can you do without it? No, I mean, if you if you want to hold it up, it's just take it. Yeah, yeah, I'll hold it up. That might be better because by the time I do it. Uh, okay. I'll be holding everybody else up. Is that better? Just put it in the middle a little bit. Up, up, and there we go. Okay. There we go. Thank you. Sorry. Yeah. Having chest problems, chest pains? Probably. It's coughing a lot. It's a smoker. I'm also getting shoulder pain. Yes. He's got an anxiety. Really bad. Yes. He's got to let that go. It's not worth it. <laughs> no anxiety is worth it. Is it job related? Probably. Or something. I'm not sure. Finance? I'm not sure. I think it's finance. Uh, you know what? Everything's going to be okay. Thank you. Really. The minute you stop worrying about it, you realize that it's all taken care of. Yes. Yeah, he also got a bit of bad back as well. I've got a bit yes. of pain here, but, but I don't know why I got it here. Oh. I would call him in, but he won't come. Yeah. He's in the other room. <laughs> and um, he's going to make himself ill, even worse. He's going to give himself a heart attack with this anxiety, worrying about everything. It's not worth worrying about. Things Things work themselves out. Really, it does. It, all his pains is, is supported by his anxiety. They, they're just feeding. So the more anxiety he has, the more pain he gets. Up in, in his weak it makes you points. sicker. Yeah. So worrying about things, all, all it does is shorten your life. It doesn't, it's none of this matters. It doesn't matter. And I wish, I wish I could take all of that away from him and let him see that it all, whatever's going to happen, is going to happen, whether you worry about it or anxiety, you know, it's, it doesn't stop it. It doesn't help him. The, the minute you start trusting that everything's going to be okay, you create it. When you have anxiety, you bring on all the bad stuff. But the minute you stop worrying about it and you trust that everything is going to be great, everything's going to be fine, everything is. We create our miserable environment by being miserable. I agree. The minute that I said, I'm not going to worry about bills, I'm not going to worry about where the money's coming from, I just know that I'll be able to be fine. We, we, we'll be able to pay our bills and have extra. And that is the minute I, that, that, that happened, we've never had to worry about it again, ever. Because we've always had enough money to pay for all of our stuff. We've never had to suffer anymore. That, that's a minute I stopped worrying. The money was there to pay our bills. And I just, <laughs> it happened. And I, in the minute we were thankful and grateful. And you'd write down every day. You wake up every day and, and are thankful for everything. And there's always something to be thankful for. And that's when you relax and just do the breathing. And just don't let it worry. If people just realize that it, it's magical. Because it's, all it is is the, is the negative beings, you're feeding them. You're creating your environment and you're feeding them. That's all he's doing. And he's making himself sick in the, in the long run. Let's just send him love and let's send him light and let's send him this healing energy. That's all. Let's all do that. Let's, as a collective today, let's send that. To, is, his name is John. I have a terrible John. memory of names. Yeah, John. Yes. Terrible memory with names. Let's put his picture up again. Let's send him all, send him that loving energy. Let's send a powerful love to him so that he has this beautiful love bomb. Oh, that's beautiful. You guys are great. That's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Now let's see what's going on with you. Oh, you're feeding off his energy. Same thing goes for you, Dolores. Yes. You have to release, you have to release his so when you feel his anxiety, you kind of have to push back and send him love and start doing that breathing for yourself in through the nose and out through the mouth slowly and just do it three times in a row. And it doesn't help. Leave the room that he's in and do it somewhere else. Ground yourself to a tree, go out in the grass, walk in the grass. Put your bless food, in. bless your water. Yeah. And love into it. Feel like you have headaches. Do you get headaches in the back? Yeah, I, I was picking up headaches. Then. Throbbing headaches, like stress headaches. Stress. Um, I've got a bit of throbbing at the moment, but it's sort of light. I'm just. I I'm sorry. Feel like I have that. I don't feel like I have that many headaches. Just stress, yes, and throbbing tinnitus. Tinnitus. In your ear. Yeah, it's like a vibration, isn't it? Yes, in my ears. Yeah. 
Now I can feel something in the back of my head now. But um, yeah, well, that's what we're picking. We don't know if you do have that all the time, but that's what we're picking this precise moment. Yeah. And I it's probably it's like, it's like a pressure in the back of your head. Yes, just yes. It's like a pulse, actually. Is it gone now or going? Because if we picked it up, we took some of it. It feels like it's easing a little bit. Yeah, because by us feeling it's, it, we took the energy out of it. Oh. It is easing. It's better. It's a very unusual place. I'd say that is worry. That's like a worry, headache, or throb, or whatever you yeah. call it. It's almost like a pressure, like like. Hard to explain, but like it, it, like a thermometer going up. Mm. Very unusual. Yeah, and in your neck and your shoulders, almost like you're tight. Breaths, like so yes. everything's tight. Just want you to relax and let it relax and feel this energy going in, just going through your body, just to release all the tension going in. Yeah, your neck feels that stiff, doesn't it? It's, it feels like better it, now, but yeah. <laughs> is it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, always a lot of tension up there. <laughs> and I just got like a little headache right here between the eyes. Do you feel like this warmth going through your chest, going down into your body all of a sudden? Like warm water going through you? It feels warm, but I feel like something's traveling down the back of my neck from my head down. Yeah, you may feel it going through your chest, down your stomach, and down through your legs. I just felt it because it's um, I'm I guess, feeling it now. Yeah. <laughs> I can see the energy going through you and it feels like warm water. <laughs> I just had a drink of water. <laughs> drink plenty of water because it's this is going to stay with you for the next week. But it's, it's like this. It's it's electric energy from Phil and it's white light from Father. Oh, thank you. So you've got all this energy going through you. Just relax. And just continue to draw through this. Thank you. This is, to, this is to reinforce you and know that you don't have anything to worry about. We have so much to be grateful for. Everything's going to be fine. It's all going to work out, really, truly. This is a message for all of you. It's all going to work out. There's nothing to worry about. You want to say stop and I'll get you two cards? Stop. Actually, these cards look similar. Celebration and divine guidance. Oh, fantastic. How beautiful is that? Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> so does it time me? Guidance, I put time. Divide, you're being guided by your intuition. Celebration is great. So your intentions and changing life are coming. You've got plans to change your life. Yes. There you go. That's the yes. Watch your space, I think. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you and love to you all. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Juliet, my darling, or is it Maggie? Oh, sorry, Maggie. (laughs) <laughs> i'm reading i'm so see i'm so glad to see you juliet i hope you're on the list yes, still alive yes, yes. how are you guys Maggie. i was sleeping here on my chair <laughs> <laughs> I'm, i can't believe you stayed up for this yeah i needed this three three a.m for me now and Thank you so much. I cannot thank you enough. I am now almost 90% better. I can walk without the hole on the walls. And uh, only if I need to go down, it's very difficult still. And for example, if I have to lift up my leg to to dress my, my socks, it's also difficult. But I know that until maybe tomorrow I am 100%. But now it's something from this shoulder blade, like my shoulder will go up like this, very tight. And in this muscle here on my shoulder, I have like an egg and painful, very hard and goes up to my neck. I don't know what, what is this. Did we put a mirror around her? I can't remember. You in Malta, yeah, that's just part. You get things like that in Malta. <laughs> I have to move. I have to move. It looks like it's a, um. It's real. It's like my shoulder goes like this to my ears, and I cannot let them down because it's very stiff, very tight. Yeah, she's got a dart platform. Sometimes when I move my my head left and right, something make like this troop troop inside on my neck. I don't know what is this. No, Deb, I think it's an implant, but I think it's been badly done. You do? 
been bad. It's not, not been done right. Hasn't been done right. You attack it, man. Okay. Hmm? You attack it. You're too light. <laughs> it's got it's got a red. It's red. Don't feel connected though. No, it doesn't. It looks like it doesn't look like any implant I've ever seen before. But they're using some real interesting ones. In the archives. Well, look where she lives. I am all the time protecting myself. I don't know what I can do anymore. Because it's, it's, it's okay. You're okay. Yeah, but it's proof that it, it's not connected properly. Yeah, it's it's not. It, they they were in a hurry trying to get that in you. <laughs> they didn't. They didn't even do it right. Oh God. Yeah, cowboy implants. Yeah. <laughs> Archangel Michael just said they did a half-ass job. <laughs> <laughs> we just called him a troll. <laughs> you feel the energy, Maggie Barra? Yes. Do you feel the work being done? Because I've got Bob and me chipmunk to eat it. <laughs> he's a bit suspicious because he's not seen this sort of one before. <laughs> Michael just called you lazy. <laughs> Oh, me, me, lazy. Ah, okay. <laughs> he's not you. Sat and he's, he's not sat you, because because he's got Bob doing the work. <laughs> he's yeah, but I created Bob. <laughs> anyway, I, Michael, I'm, Michael I'm, was I'm really happy he's got Bob. <laughs> yeah. yeah. With the amount of implants we find. <laughs> ay, 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 I'm ay. glad. I'm really happy he's got Bob getting all those implants. The only reason we created him. Because there's that many. There's he's that many. He's just joking. Well. He's just joking. He and, um, he and he and Raphael have this ongoing ongoing uh, humor. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Michael always keeps on just planning things. He doesn't really get his dick hands to it. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. It's actually it's actually funny listening to the two of you. Yeah. You know, I, I was bringing in Christ consciousness and Jesus actually said, Where's my commission? <sighs> As a joke, that was a joke. It's because I always do the jokes, they're doing them back on me. Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel, Matt, Maggie? It, it's a little bit uh, soft now, my shoulder. Yeah. Because I, I had the feeling that in the end of the night, I had my, my shoulder on my ears and was getting worse and worse. But now it's, it's, it's getting softer. Mm. God, why they don't leave me alone? It's enough, please. Because you have that beautiful light and you're on Malta. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah, you live on enemy enemy island. <laughs> oh God. Tell them to take me away from here, please. Ah. Archangel Michael just said we're working on it. Yes, please, Michael. Please, please, you know so how just much Okay. Just trust, just trust. They're working on it. Yeah, I trust and I pray for that. And I I call up on him in the night, in the morning, anytime I have my head. Uh, he come up on my head. I, I talk to him and I ask him to surround me with his angels and go always before me. I don't leave the house almost, but... <clears throat> you want two cards, my kid? Yes, please. Okay. Stop, please. Does Jesus have a message for me, Beb? What? Does Jesus have a message for me? Let's see if he's here. Here you go. Oh, he's, he's with you. Let's see. I cannot... Friendship, friendship and ideas and inspirations. Oh, ideas and inspiration, but friendship, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I know. If you need to move off Malta for that. Uh, <laughs> ideas I'm that always, God's, I'm outside of Malta. Yeah. God speaks to you with thoughts starting start listening to him. So dreams normally as well. So when you think of summer, the first thing you God is speaking through to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and friendship, wow. Well, friendship. You are changing and surrendering friends. You have lost interest. And the angels are giving you ones that resonate uh, or trying to. It is, really, it is yeah. really like this. 
everyone just disappeared from my life like this. Oops, no, no one from the people that I know, I am in touch with it, especially from here. Everyone here just disappeared. Thank God. And my contact is only with you guys all around the world, but not in Malta. Thank mm -hmm. God. It's, I am here like invisible, <laughs> but they find me somehow. Oh, well, Malta is, you know, as we, we said, is uh, the headquarters for uh, the Jesuits. So, oh, yeah, I have to say when I, I uh, um, arrived here at the airport, I say to myself, Oh, this is not my place at all. And from this moment, it was something else. Well, you think about it, Mag Maggie, you're shining your light in the dragon's den, aren't you? You are. Yeah. Yep, right in the dragon's den. You are there. <laughs> so there's a reason you're there. It, it's my pleasure to do it. They just please give me a little bit easy time because it's, it's, I can't stand this tough time anymore. I just like to have a little bit easy because it's, um, it's there's a reason. Now. There's a reason you're there. So be in gratitude. Never mind. Yeah. The, the, the more you're in gratitude, uh, the faster things, the things get accomplished. Yeah. Yeah. What, how are you going to have easy time? You know, yes. <laughs> it's not easy here. Well, it's uh, one question. Why I can still don't get vision or message? Like, I, I have the feeling that my third eye is, is still blocked. It, is this a special reason for that? I, I have... Uh, where, you, you, my, my, where, where, where you live gives you the vibration to connect. And where do you live? <laughs> Okay, yeah. I go to the airport it, it, tomorrow. It, it, yeah, it would be very difficult to lift your vibration there, to be honest. Uh-huh. Uh, open your third eye. And you know, your third eye isn't always open. It opens and closes. So when it's when it needs to be opened it, to, to see something, it opens up. So, some people have it open all the time, and they can't stand it, and they can't close it. They have spirits talking to them because they know they're open. You know, it gets word around, and all of a sudden they have twenty four seven. And they, they you, if you have it open, you've got you've got to be able to stop it, close it, and open it. You can do that. Yeah, you have the ability to do it anyway. Hmm? Because this is what make me uh, uncertain sometimes. Because I, I'm not sure what it, I feel a lot. I feel a lot, but I don't see. I like to see the vision because then I am sure what I am seeing. But it's okay. I am happy that I, I am healthy now, totally healthy. And that's it. This is all I needed to stay here away from everything and just stay here and on my place, keep my light and wait that everything happened for me. But if you feel a lot, then that means you feel energy as you fit. That's good. I feel energies. And you'll be, mm -hmm. all, all you have to do is start recognizing them. So if you feel mm -hmm. an energy near you, ask what is it? And, and you'll get the answer. Uh huh. That you have to trust. Uh -huh. Some people start, they don't trust. You got to trust the information you're getting. Okay, because this is what I miss to, to know this is from him, this is from, from him. And once you open that door, then you start, everything else starts flowing. You have okay. to trust. How I do it, Maggie, I don't question it. I don't think about it. I just see what happens. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't even ask questions. I'm just in the remote viewing. I just see what happens and it, it can be quiet. Now I can go where I want to go. But at the beginning, I used to just let it just flow. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay, and I'm going to call always for Michael when I feel that something is again, then I can call him to help me and <laughs> get do, do, do you know, you know, Maggie, you know, like people want to see visions and stuff. Like before the earlier on tonight, I actually helped to get rid of a, uh, a dark demigod sort of one. And I saw all the visions. You don't want to see visions like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. yeah. Be careful on what you ask for. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I... 
No, I am very, I am very respectful with all of them because I am also afraid sometimes to ask for something because of how I formulate the sentence and I say, oh my God, and what if I say wrong and they take me home? <laughs> because I know that now everything ju- just happened one time and then anytime I like to ask for something, I am like, mm, how should I ask for this? Like this, like that. And this is something I, I respect them very, very much. But then it's okay. Thank you so much, guys. I yeah. love you all. Until I get my husband hot, I stay here with you because my husband is in the oven. I have to make him hot. <laughs> it's my pillow with seeds inside to take to my bed. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love you all. And I will, I will look forward to join you guys on Saturday. Okay. 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 It was wonderful. I love you all. I love you too, honey. Love and blessings. Thank you so much. Go to sleep now. Yes. In 50 minutes. (laughs) Deb. Yes. It's just before Julie Julia, it says to everyone, and it's got no name. How's that possible? Can you see it at 043? How, How is that possible? Oh, 43. It's got no one. It's that one there. No name. Is that anyone? Where? At 043, it says to everyone, 043, I would love a scan. Ideas I keep being awakened by someone when I am. But as, is it, does it mean the person's left? And, no, it's still be there, the name, will not it? Do you get I what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I see 043. Yeah, it, it is that. I wrote it, but... Ah. I thought I have my name because it's on my computer. Right. Who's that? Janine. Janine. Oh, hi, Janine. I, I just unmuted because I knew you, I could hear your confusion. Yeah, yeah, I wrote it, but I I was assuming it would pick up. A, it was on my Chromebook. I've never seen that before. No name. <laughs> so, so she comes before everybody? She comes before Julia by two minutes. Okay. <laughs> All right, Janine. I keep having to, t- to tell Juliet one more minute. Hi, Janine. <laughs> hey, Janine, we're moving close to you. Awesome. <laughs> That's wonderful. I love, yes, I love that news. How close? We're coming, well, Trenton, Trenton, Florida? Yes, near Lake City. Near, oh. near uh, Gainesville, well, an hour outside of Gainesville? It's west. <gasps> Gainesville, yes. Here, are you near Tallahassee? Yes, yes. Uh, actually, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't think we're too far. I don't think we're too far from you. No, we go through that area all the time to get to. Oh, Disney. we're moving close to you. <laughs> well, we could use the the love in Florida. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. You know, it, 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 you're moving here for a reason. Yes, we are. Yes, yeah. we are. So. <laughs> I that's wonderful news yeah so we're in the in the midst of uh packing and and I, oh my god my birds are going crazy um uh, how do you get awakened Janine? i hear my name um uh, it's i see my mother's still hanging out with us and i have the baby monitor by my bedside but um so i keep jumping up out of bed and go check her and she's asleep and sometimes I hear my name and I know that it's not my mother's voice. More recently, the last couple of weeks, I hear Janine and it's not not so much her voice. But this is like right when I get into my good sleep, and they snatch it, me out. It sounds like you're getting a message. It sounds like someone wants to contact you and give you a message, but they're not quite. What do you think, Deb? I think that. If you're hearing your voice, that, that's a spirit contacting you for a reason. Well, I always talk to my angel team. You know, they always wake me before my phone goes off because they know I don't like alarms. And if something's going on with my mom, they wake me. So we're we're always exchanging. But they they have their way with me. You know, they, they don't get in my ear and call my name. It's almost like... I don't think it's... Is it negative? Does it feel negative? No, it's irritating me. <laughs> but 
it's I just get so little sleep <laughs> with with her. She's she actually started sleeping more because we give her bigger, heavy meds. But um, do you think it's one of your angels or guides? Go into yourself. Go into your. Yeah. Do you think it's one of them? What's the message you're getting back? Maybe that's when. No, you shouldn't. I, you should know right away whether it's one of them. What um, are you getting? Trust the information you're getting. Yeah, I don't think it's my angels. Or I mean, guy. My, so it's not your team. No, I think they have a good interaction with me that I trust. I think it's, I think it's a trickster energy. I think it's someone trying to disguise themselves, Phil, as one of her angels or guides. I don't think it's necessarily evil. I just think it's somebody trying to fake as one of your yeah. team. I'm having some stuff come on where when, when my meditations are much better and mo I'm getting more skill from Archangel Raphael, which I'm an aspect and I'm playing more with spirit and my dream state. And it's like, I can't find the time to do it because if she's not calling me, the dogs need me outside or, or, or they snatch me out of my sleep. It's like, I just want good time to play with my gifts you know what i mean yeah and th that's it yeah so. yeah <laughs> i i don't know yeah, i don't it's it's not you know, i'm always getting the message this is not your team and it's not your guides it's not your angels it's not necessarily demonic it's just tricksters okay okay so i'll just chat with them no we're going to figure out who where they're coming from for them to be telepathically talking to you Deb, I think it's from the spirit world. You do? I, I think it's from the spirit world, yeah. Okay, so? Like uh, a warning. That's what I'm going. I'm going in. <laughs> Expect some bad news. That's what I'm, I'm getting. You what? He's going. Yeah. Expect some bad news. That's what I'm getting. Hmm. I don't really, really want to say that, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. What? It's who? Expecting bad news. Um, yeah. Like a saying? warning. Yeah. You don't mind me saying that, do you? I just don't want to say it. No. Okay. No, uh, I mean, I realize what time we're in and, and everything is so, so, yeah. so fast at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think I'd live this long. So I'm, I'm like open to anything. I, I don't know. So, okay. I can deal with that and let it go. And okay. Thank you. Who was it? Gabriel? Mm -hmm. Who was it, Gabriel, or a, 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 a person that's crossed over? person that's crossed over. Oh. You know, my best friend died years ago. Might but you, a... you would have recognized that voice, though, wouldn't you have? I would. Was, uh, it, a, was it a male voice or a female? I want to say I don't know. Uh, it's sometimes, sometimes when they cross over, they, they have difficulty communicating. Yeah, they're not professional at communicating. Once you cross over, how do you communicate to someone? It's an old new learning curve for them. Oh, that kind of spirit world. Are you totally, okay. So when you were saying spirit world, I'm sitting there thinking, what are you talking about, angels? Uh, I'm, I'm talking about cross. Oh, uh, dead person. Yeah. Yeah, dead person. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm sitting there going, okay, it sounds like a trickster energy to me, not from the angelic realm. Well, yeah, my dead buddy was pretty tricky. Okay, so it's, oh, it's so, it's someone that crossed over. Hmm. Yep. Yeah, okay. Well, the, the, pr the, the problem when people cross over, they have difficulty communicating because you have difficulty picking up their message and they have difficulty giving you the message and it can be so difficult. It really can. Yeah. And since I've since I've spoken with uh, since I had my session with you guys years ago now I helped someone to cross over that came to me in this house and so I thought mean, then I'm like, oh yeah so so you helped someone go to the light that was lost soul you mean right yeah, yeah she came right to my bedside so I'm like man I'm gonna do this now <laughs> and, and that's the last <laughs> I thought of but now. Um, but yeah, it was so real. So um, that it hasn't happened is okay. But I will just have an open mind about all this. Okay, you've got to be like that. Okay. Yeah, but you know, it, at least we know that there there is no death. It's not like we're not going to be able to talk to them again, or you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have a daughter that was never birthed. She was a miscarriage, but I met her 
five years ago now, she came to me and told me her name and we kick it all the time. So, and we have a better relationship, but yeah, she's always holding Michael or Mary's hand when she comes in and stuff, but it's it's so much. It's so nice to be with like-minded ones because I can't even talk about this. Of course. (laughs) I know. Yeah. Susan Aaron will listen, but (laughs) (laughs) she's desperate. (laughs) <laughs> well, listen, I, I, I told my, my sister-in-law that her brother who died 30 years ago stopped by to see me. Oh, and nice. well, that went well. <laughs> that, that, that did not go well. <laughs> uh, I was being, I was satire. I was in UK satire. <laughs> it didn't <Wow>. go well. <laughs> wow. it, it, I told her he's an angel and he is and. Oh. Told her that uh, he had chosen his path and you know chosen all his experiences and oh no that didn't go over well either. Oh wow! <laughs> Do you know Deb? When I, when my daughter was seven, she said, "Dad, can you make me clever?" So I upgraded her brain to a fourteen-year-old, and she's the one who got the masters, so I did it. But what was the side effect? She could see uh, aura colors. But she could see the spirit world and she didn't like it. (laughs) She said, can I reverse it? I said, no. (laughs) When you go forward, you can't go back. (laughs) Right. Like opening, like there are so many texts on how to open your third eye uh, Mm. automatically. Don't, I mean, I would never encourage anyone to do it because my dead best friend did that. The, no, the government did it for him when they brought him out of school as a child and made him be a government agent because he was very astral back then. Yes, yes. And they opened his third eye instantly. He showed me how to do it. I'm like, "Uh uh-uh. And he could never sleep, that poor man. He could never sleep because everything came to him to be crossed (laughs) over. He can't sleep. His third eye is... (laughs) Oh, yeah. Yeah. He was wide open. Yeah, I mean, but, when I was merging with this feminine aspect, uh, who's a Lemurian uh, healer, I felt it was a massive crystal. I mean, my third eye was crystalline. I, I think I never did before do that. <laughs> and that's while I'm healing someone, I'm thinking, wow. And then I could feel a gold crystal going around. It was amazing. It really was amazing. Yeah. Uh, you learn something every week. You really do. Do you want two cards, by the way, or have we given you two cards? I can't. One's fine. I, I don't I don't want to keep you guys. I know how important all this is. I've been rolling my Merkaba around to keep the energies up for the group. And thank you. I missed you guys so much. Please stop, man. Oh, please, please stop. <laughs> <laughs> Just stop for a moment. There you go. Uh, I gave you two. Power. So and that's a, you're, you've got the power to create uh, divine love and wisdom, intelligence is available, and new love. So new love, open your hearts to divine love and possibly a new friend. Oh. Okay, that's nice. Isn't it? Yeah, I never get that one. Thank you, guys. This was yeah, great. Thank you. I um yes, I get tax money someday soon, and I'll make an appointment. <laughs> Well, maybe you can just cut you can come up to the our new place and have an in-house face-to-face in crumpets yes that would be great <laughs> it's a shame i couldn't visit you Deb, but one day biden will sign the declaration that i'm okay to go in the country not being but uh lollipop <laughs> yeah i know it's, he, they were supposed to come out they were going to come out before we leave arizona oh, 27 wow. years we've been here wow wow <laughs> Okay, Miss Juliet. Finally, we are going to and hello bandwidth. Hello. Hi there. Hi, darlings. Hi. How are you, beautiful family? We're, we're good. So you're so I'm sorry you're going through all the shifting crap trip. <laughs> oh my god, it's not fun. No, no, exhausting. Absolutely exhausting. Yeah, I'm too old for this packing and lifting and everything. I'm telling you. Oh, that. me too. And here I have to come up two flights of stairs. So that was, it finished me off for two days. I was on my hands and knees for one night trying to get to the other room. I was that tired. So I'm still recovering. It's been two weeks I've been here. Oh. Deb, I thought you've got a rick. Sorry? To do all that. I thought Deb's got a rick to do no. all that. 
Oh. Yeah, Rick, Rick's knees gave out on him. He fell down twice. Oh, no. No. Sorry. He's, he's got an appointment to get some injections in his knees. Hopefully it helps. So. Hospital? So. Injections. Is it like steroids? Uh, no, there's something else that they're going to do. It's for the nerves. For the nerves, yeah. I think that to take either numb them or so he doesn't feel the pain. And uh, mm -hmm. I don't know what. That's what it is. Yeah. So I have yeah. good health. Me too. Scanning? Uh, yes, yeah, scan her for illness. I, I wish your bandwidth was better because you shrunk to a little tiny picture. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I'm on the phone. Let's see. Working with minimal resources here. Glad I know what you look like. Mm. Your stress levels have gone down, but you still have too much stress. You need to release all that. This comes from father. There's no reason to have stress anymore. Mm -hmm. After I was forced out from my mum's, my brother lasted about a month, um, and he's got my mum in an aged care facility for two weeks, which uh, ends on Monday, because he's planning to go on a road trip for a month, thank you very much, beginning of March, and plans to put her in there. But she and I are talking that I would go to her place and look after the dog, and, and then, well, if you're going to be there, maybe I won't go in. So she's anxious now. What's going to happen when she goes home? My brother is just totally lost the plot. He's being very rough and even abusive towards her. There's um, nothing that you can do. And your mother. No, no, I know. I know. It's awful. Yeah. It's awful. Every three days I've gone in and visited with her and just stayed three hours or so with her. And I feel much better than I spend that time with her. But yeah, I, I feel like my hands are tied. I don't know what else I can do. So I'm just a bit anxious about what's going to come for her. She's had enough, you know, and, and my heart breaks that she's experiencing this with okay. her children, with her son. She's old enough to tell him to get out or call the police and have him evicted. She finds it hard to even tell the other members of the family how he is and what's happening. She's ashamed, you know. She's allowed this. She's oh she's yeah, allowed. she has so, from the word go with him. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and I would just look at her and say, "But you allow this? There's nothing I can do." Yeah, uh, I said that two two afternoons ago. Yeah, <laughs> there's, there's nothing you can do. You can say, "Well, no. you allow this, mother." Mm. Yeah. yeah, he's very unwell. He's obviously got a lot of, you know, it's after his depression and stopping heavy marijuana use and everything, cold turkey. His whole brain chemistry just totally screwed up. And that's when he started to turn on me. That was a few years ago. Um, there was always some childhood jealousy, which has just exploded into something phenomenal. But the last week I was there, he was actually getting physical. And I went, oh, no, we're not going down that path. Yeah. Well, so I had to leave. Yes, you did. So you're I actually you're felt free. like I was going to pass a few times. Yeah. yeah, but you're you're. But I'm so tired place. now. You know, when you stop, it hits you. Sorry, I, I didn't understand what you said. I just said when you stop after going through all kinds of things like that, when you've been pushing us, it hits you. And I've just been so tired for a few weeks. You know. Well, it's good to be able to have your own space. Over seven years, I haven't had any privacy or freedom of movement or space. Quiet. It's really strange. <laughs> but I'm next to the sea here, yeah, which is it's good. Good. It's good for you to be there. Yeah, I'm mute. You mute, you mute yourself. You mute yourself. There we go. I've, I'm getting neck pain. I'm also Sorry. getting pain in one foot. You have pain. you got neck pain, definitely. Pain yeah. where? In your neck. Neck. Um, well, not pain. I just would say tension and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably used to it. I'm so. hoping to go and see my magical osteopath. So, yeah, I, I think that's it. You learn to live around it. Yeah. Yeah. And one of your feet, is this something wrong with one of your feet? Is it like a, no. a numbness, a numbness, no. not a pain? Um, well, you say numbness. Sometimes, like, um, you know, like I'll sit in different places here in, in this apartment and I sort of have my feet on this little Russian painted chair. And then uh, after some time, but I thought that's just from, you know, a normal thing. Like, you know, you just need to move your feet. And But I, I have noticed some numbness, to, uh, but I thought that that was 
nothing particular. Mm -hmm. Well, I've shifted some some of the energy. I've shifted the energy. I don't have anything bad. Sorry. No, I, I can't. I saw a live picking up. Did you picking up anything, Deb? Yeah, it's something in her right lung. All right, right. Yeah, I've been recovering from a deep seated chest infection. I did all the shifting and packing and everything while I was ill, so that was hard. I've got virtually no energy and uh, very very thin. It's actually giving me pain in my back uh, on my right side. I think it's the the right side that was showing um you know something from you know chest problems even before i recall that it was the right one you feel this energy julia a little i almost feel as if i'm you know bubbled sometimes that i'm not feeling things the way i feel i should feel them if that makes any sense you can feel them the, any way that you want to, i would just trust that the energy is there and that don't yeah. Don't worry, I, I about, do. don't worry about feeling. Do. Yep. Don't worry about what the way you should feel things. Just, mm -hmm. just don't know. Don't question. Them. Yeah. Yeah. Don't question. It's fine. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. But nothing lasts. Do you feel no attachments or anything like that? No. Nope. nope. That's why I'm I get It's amazing you guys have never picked up anything like that. Yeah. I, I do get attracted to people pain in the feet because normally trackers we got none it was just a just a, a bit of energy we needed shifting would it have to do with circulation perhaps okay yeah well as my, it, my energy levels you... pick up i will start to go for my long walks again yeah i'm sending you some uh central sun energy but let us know if you can feel it she's frozen sorry tell, tell us if you can feel this energy She's frozen. A little, yes. A little. Okay, good. Do you want two cards? I can hear you. Okay, good. Do you want two cards? I saw um, a, a download going through your third eye. In my back? No, in your third eye. I saw a download going through your third eye. I'm not sure what it's for. Okay. Um, don't forget that the energy that, uh, the healing energy that Phil and Rick and I Yes, get. please. <laughs> mm. the energy that fell yes, in place okay. yes she wants cards mm. oh the energy you're that supposed to say stop say stop <laughs> when, whenever you're ready i'd love to know what it's for oh, let me drop one stop yeah you've got to say the word okay i just lost the end of that yeah i don't know because debbie's talking to me stop stop Right. Stop. <laughs> okay. So hang ah. on, what were you saying, Deb? The healing energy? Yeah, it, it stays. So I did say stop. <laughs> yes, he did. Yes, he stop, did. Stop, stop. Okay, he's he's got the cards for yes. you. So go ahead, Phil. Do the cards and I'll stop, right. stop, stop. Healing. Now, healing means <laughs> stop worrying about your worries. As soon okay. as you stop what worrying about the worries, the healing will commence from yourself. So all this pain will go once you get rid of the worries. And that playfulness means uh, have some time for a bit of fun. Yeah? So okay. Bit, bit of fun, bit of play. Yeah? All right. Okay. okay. So, so you've got healing energy from Phil, Rick, and I mm -hmm. going through you. It'll last for seven days. Make sure you drink water. Bless your water. Give it love before you drink your water. I knew there was something else. Uh, I can't remember. Uh, <laughs> I'll go down and play next to the beach. I you know, I don't know what the um, yeah. download through your third eye was for. I don't know what it's for. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes. Mm -hmm. That third eye, the download. Yeah. I don't know what it was for. Okay. Well, that's the first time that that's been said to me, so I'm curious. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Or where it came from, either. I came from Creator. Do I keep freezing up or something? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not very good broadband. Beautiful. Very similar to America. <laughs> I think we've got one more left. I'm sorry it's been freezing while I've been on. It's okay. Okay. Thank you, Madame. Thank, you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. All right. Cindy. Hmm. Cindy Jumper. 
Hi, Cindy. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. A little tired, but yeah. Okay. There. The picture's bigger. Yeah. There. It is. Okay. There we go. All right. Let's see. Oh, this time, the creator brought me right to your heart. Have you been having chest pains? No. Okay. Well, he's healing your heart muscle. And then he's cleaning out your arteries. You may feel some warmth in your chest. Mm-hmm. He's also healing your liver and your pancreas and your bladder. Now he's going to your hips. Have you had any pain in your hips? All the time. That's all I'm getting filled with something. I'm just sending energy out of shape. Uh, a bit of bad fat. So. Mm. You feel the energies, uh, Cindy. From, from the healing? Yeah. Yeah. You want two cards? Yes, please. Same way. Stop, stop. Stop. Strange. And the cards are blessings and forgiveness. So blessings means you're getting extra blessings of you of your angels. And forgiveness, uh, you may feel you should be angry with someone. It's not helping you, just let it go. Yeah. You've got to release the anger. If you ever get ever have anger, just release it. Don't have anger. Low vibration. Okay. I totally get it. Yeah. My job. Yeah. Just gotta walk away. Anyone you're angry angry with in your mind, send them off. And then you're not owning it. You're not owning the anger. Yeah. Anger can actually rule you and control you. Mm -hmm. I forget that sometimes. Mm -hmm. I think we all do. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Blessings to you. Good luck on the move. You seemed better than last time, by the way. Cindy. Pardon me? You, you seemed better uh, energy wise than last time we did the yes. help, help you. Yes. You seemed better, definitely. Well, thank you. Thank you for that. Yeah, okay. I feel better. Good. Good. I would. All right. I have the hey, same backdrop, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Julian, do, do you need any healing? Julian. She must be DJing or something. She might be playing with a tuning fork. <laughs> Julian has left the building. <laughs> Davina, did you need healing? I think I'm okay, but <laughs> but I I just heard that you're going to move away. I feel like oh oh. Yes, we're not going to be neighbors anymore. I know, but I, but the second story is I'm not going to be be here forever either. So right, That's all right. is well. All is well. We never know. We might end it up, you know, even closer. Who knows? You can always come to Florida. We'll have an extra room. Thank you. And we will always be wherever we meant to be. So just let it be. I'll always make room for you, Davina. Thank you. Not Otherwise, fun. I can stay in the sofa. I'm okay. No, we have, well, it's, well, we're moving in with our granddaughter. She, she, they, her and her husband bought a five bedroom and oh. we will have an office. They only have one child. And um, so we will have our bedroom and an office, and the office will have a bed in it. Oh, okay, that's great. I'm happy that you will be, you know, surrounded by your family. That's that's awesome. It's the one that came here with Layla, Brooke, yeah. and Layla, and Jamie, and yeah. Yeah, so. I guess so. Yeah, I she think that that should be the one. Yes, we're gonna grow food and have chickens, and awesome. It, it's in a it's in a different part of Florida, not near the ocean. But oh. it, won't be that, it won't be that far away. It yeah, will. well, there's one stoplight yeah. now. Yeah, it's <laughs> the whole county. The whole county. At least one, one stoplight in the whole county. <laughs> at least it's drivable to the beach. You know, right now you are even further. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. we're six hours away. <laughs> the population is 2,000. 2,000 people where we're going, yeah. Wow, so it's not a big town, huh? It's no. very. Okay. Very small. But that's good. I think country is better than the city. Yeah, that she's yeah. sick of because they live down in Broward County in, in Fort Lauderdale right now, and they're they're done with it. That's yeah. where we got, that's where we got married. That's where he lived. Oh, oh. Yeah. Well, so that's what where you guys going back from, huh? Yes. Going back where 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 he came from. I'm gonna leave a piece of me here because I love Arizona. I'm gonna be very sad to leave. 
Yeah, I know. But but the weather there, oh, it's humid compared to Arizona. Very humid. Yeah.